Hello, and welcome to this video on Shook. Today we're going to be talking about the page CMS features. This basically allows you to build a blog page uh, with detailed pages under it. Uh, you could also build an FAQ, you could build a terms and conditions, you could build information about the site or an about us or about the owners or about the products. It's basically a landing page, uh, page where customers can land and see whatever you want to show them. It's a pretty dynamic uh, system that we have. So um, what I'll be demoing for you is basically how you would build a blog and then de de detail pages under it. Uh, we'll also add the button into this uh, menu up here at the top. Just a quick walk through the page that we have this summer's almost here banner uh, and some banners underneath of it, our products, uh, and a list of links at the bottom. So let's just jump straight into it. So all of the page CMS functionality lives under the uh, content menu panel. So we'll just jump into pages, which is where you'll create your pages. Uh, we'll do a new page and we'll give it the URL uh, blog. Contents can be just dummy uh, blog uh, index page. And we'll give it uh, dummy its fashion. All right. Uh, next is the availability, which is basically the uh, when you want the page to be available to when you want it to be unavailable. Uh, we're just going to leave these as default for right now. Uh, I don't think that you'll really need to play it then unless you really want to be able to control uh, when it's going to be visible on the site. So right now we'll do click visible in menu, which will basically allow the page to be visible in that top uh, navigation bar. Uh, in extras, we have the internal identifier, so we'll call it uh, master uh, blog page. Parent, we're going to leave this this null value, so it knows it's always when you're going looking for the uh, index page for the site. And then we're going to want to display the children on the page as well. Uh, next is like blog, blog article information. So I don't think you really need to play at this since it's actually the index page and not the specific blog page. And then we'll look at the open graph information, which basically allows you to preview content in Facebook, uh, Twitter, Google, so you people know what they're clicking on before they actually have to navigate to the site. So we'll go to images, uh, we'll go into banners, and we'll just collect the main store banner for this. Uh, we'll just give it the tag of blog. Uh, dummy it's uh, fashion I uh, was call it dummy blog uh, description and article author uh, that's me Wes Garlock great and we'll hit save fantastic now let's look into the front end and see what we're, where we're at refresh and dummy it's fashion great we can click in it and we see the dummy blog index page. So this is roughly how you know you can get a simple page into the front end. Now let's just add a detailed page just to show how the hierarchy works. So we'll jump back into the admin. Uh, we'll go to the breadcrumbs and click on content pages and we'll click on new page. So we'll just call this uh, blog uh, one page content uh, blog one page and we'll give the title blog one page availability like I said we're not really going to touch it we're not going to make it visible in the menu so we can let it live under the index page uh, we're not going to have children pages so we'll just leave that blank but we, we do need to specify it to be this dummy it's fashion so it knows it needs to live under this page and we'll just give this blog one page as the internal identifier. We'll hit save. Um, oh, and we should probably also add some open graph content as well. So we'll go into products. Uh, we'll do khaki pants in there. Uh, we'll call it blog one page tags. And we'll speak of colors, description, blog one page. And let's just hit save. And we'll take a look at dummy its fashion. And bang, there we go. Uh, we got our blog page living right there. 
I also, before we wrap up, just wanted to walk through the uh, demo, real the uh, Open Graph content, just so you can see what it would look like. So we can go to this Open Graph Checker, Search Engineer, Ports.net. Uh, there's tons of sites like this, or you can just use the Facebook default tool. Uh, I'm on my work computer, so I don't have Facebook there, so I'm just going to use this uh, random non-secure URL, which is super safe, but uh, let's just check it out. And traffic lights, traffic light, traffic light, traffic light. Great, verify. Great, and there we go. There's our open graph content. Uh, we got our main, I think the site name is main store. We have the URL, the title, the website, and the image. So ideally, if you were to put this into your Facebook, this is the content that you would see. So just as a quick recap before we jump off, uh, what we looked at is uh, building custom CMS pages for your site, uh, putting them into the top navigation menu, and then also adding open graph content in. If you have any questions, uh, you can find us at shoop.com with all of our contact information. You can also email us at support at shoop.com if you have any specific questions about your platform if you're currently on Shoop or if you're looking to become uh, a customer or join the platform. I uh, uh, hope this was helpful and uh, have a good day.